Hello and welcome to our daily news program, broadcast daily from Hanoi. Here comes our latest headlines. President Chung Tam Sang hosts a reception for visiting Cambodian Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Home Affairs Sa Keng. The Ministry of Planning and Investment highlights the positive socio-economic developments in 2012 at a press conference on January the 4th. HSBC predicts Vietnam's economy will do better in 2013 than 2012. President Chung Tan Sang hosted a reception for visiting Cambodian Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Home Affairs Sa Keng in Hanoi on January 4. The president expressed his pleasure at Cambodia's socio-economic stability despite world outreaching changes in the last year. He spoke highly of the cooperation between the Vietnamese Ministry of Public Security and the Cambodian Ministry of Home Affairs, and said he believes that agreements reached by the leaders from both sides will create a foundation to fulfill their tasks. Sang also said he hopes the upcoming general election in Cambodia will be a success. For his part, Sha King affirmed that traditional relations between the two ministries have developed well, especially cooperation in human resources training. He said he believes the two countries' cooperation in preventing crime and maintaining security will grow more effective in 2013 thanks to agreements signed between the two sectors. Vietnam and the Republic of Korea have wrapped up the 2012 friendship year. With numerous activities to commemorate 20 years of diplomatic relations, Vietnamese ambassador to the Republic of Korea Chen Chamtan said he believes the relations between the two countries will further grow in the future, benefiting people from both countries. In an interview granted to the Vietnam News Agency on the occasion of the New Year, Ambassador Tuan said, "Since the establishment of diplomatic ties on December 22, 1992, Vietnam and our key relations have experienced many important milestones. In 2001, the two countries lifted their ties to a comprehensive cooperative partnership level, and then to a strategic cooperative partnership in 2009." The ROK's now the second biggest investor in Vietnam, while Vietnam is the ROK's third largest overseas investment market. According to Tuan, there is a great room for two countries to further boost bilateral cooperation. The ROK boasts great potential in investment, trade, finance, and science technology, while Vietnam is able to supply a stable workforce to the ROK. Green growth also offers new opportunities, and with rising middle-income earners, cooperation in tourism is promising. The ambassador noted that the two nations launched the first round of FTA talks in September 2012 during ROK Minister of Trade Park Tae Ho's visit to Vietnam, and once the FTA is signed, goods and services will smoothly enter each country's market. Around 70,000 Vietnamese workers are working in the ROK, helping ease the country's labor shortage. Meanwhile, the ROK community in Vietnam numbers around 130,000 million investors and business people that help generate jobs and boost Vietnam's exports. The Ministry of Planning and Investment announced its report on social economic development in 2012 at a press conference on January 4. The ministry also took the occasion to introduce social economic solutions to fulfil the targets of 2013. The ministry highlighted the positive socio-economic developments in 2012. Particularly, the control of inflation and improvements in macroeconomics. It said the 5.03 percent growth in gross domestic product, though below the set target, was still a reasonable increase. In the context, Vietnam has to focus on stabilizing macroeconomics and constrain inflation. The consumer price index of December 2012 rose 6.81 percent against the same time in 2011, much lower than the inflation rate in previous years. 
State budget overspending dropped to 4.8 percent of GDP in 2012. However, the index of industrial production rose just 4.8 percent since 2011, much lower than the set target of 8.5 percent. The risk of high inflation and macroeconomic instability remains. The ministry affirmed that the goals for 2013 are to strengthen macroeconomic stability and continue curbing inflation. The country will strive for 5.5 percent growth in GDP and a 10 percent increase in export turnover. Also at the press conference, the Foreign Investment Agency under the MPI said that foreign direct investment in 2013 is projected to reach 13 to 14 billion U.S. dollars. The Hong Kong and Shanghai Banking Corporation has issued a report. That predicts the year 2013 will likely be better for Vietnam's economy than 2012 amid slowly improving domestic and external demand and the initial results of the country's recent reform efforts. According to the report Vietnam at a glance released on January 3, Vietnam's economy slowed to 5.0% in 2012 to 5.9% in the previous year. The Vietnamese government's actions in 2011 and 2012 to prioritize sustained overall rapid growth were considered positive for the country's long-term outlook, the report says. According to the report, there were some bright stars of the economy in 2012, such as exports, which expanded almost 20 percent despite weak external demand and trade surplus. However, it notes that the country needs further reforms to resolve bad debts and improve the business environment and supported infrastructure. It also needs to improve the business environment, most notably reducing red tape and creating clearer laws on how to resolve insolvency to attract foreign investment to support its development, the report says. The tourism sector has set a target of 7.2 million foreign visitors for 2013, up 5.1% from the record number of 6.8 million in 2012. The sector also expects to serve 35 million domestic tourists, an increase of 7.6% from last year. Revenues for tourism are projected at 190 trillion Vietnamese, equivalent to 9 billion US dollars this year, up 18.75 percent from 2012. According to Nguyen Mạnh Cường, Deputy Director of the Vietnam National Administration of Tourism, if these targets are reached, Vietnam will fulfill the 2015 goal two years ahead of schedule. The sector will increase tourism promotions inside and outside the country and concentrate on eight key markets, namely China, Japan, the Republic of Korea, Malaysia, Thailand, Australia, France and Russia. Together with the National Action Program on Tourism and the 2013-2015 National Tourism Promotion Program, we will continue promoting the World Heritage Site Hat Long Bay. In 2012, the sector served 6.85 million international visitors and 32.5 million domestic tourists, earning 160 trillion Vietnam dollars or 7.6 billion US dollars. A festival on the theme of spring on sea and islands took place in Ho Chi Minh City Youth Culture House on January 3rd. More than 200 artists and writers and 100 naval soldiers joined young people in the event. The festival aimed to convey the special sentiments of people in the mainland to soldiers on remote islands who are guarding the fatherland's sea and sky. Thousands of gifts were collected at the event and they will be sent to soldiers and people in Chung Sa Archipelago. The artists wrote 2013 New York cards addressed to naval men in Chung Sa as well as border guests nationwide. An exhibition was held in the framework of the festival, featuring documents and photos about the daily life and optimistic spirit of soldiers and people on Chung Sa Islands, as well as projects built on the islands with the contribution from readers of Tui Chat newspaper. The festival organizers also launched a campaign to donate New Year gifts to children living on Chung Sa Archipelago. 
That comes to the end of our news program today. We thank you all way for watching and see you next time.